For the first time this year, a first policy coordination meeting between the ruling party government and presidential office was held. A wide range of pending issues, including the upcoming Winter Olympics and the hospital fire in Miryang, were discussed. Kim Minji has the highlights from that session. South Korea's ruling party government and presidential office vowed all out efforts to ensure the successful hosting of the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. During their first policy meeting of the year on Monday, they said the event will be an opportunity to raise Korea's national status and brand value, as well as reduce geopolitical risks. The ruling bloc also called on the opposition to avoid causing political strife regarding North Korea's participation. It's foolish and regretful to use this prime opportunity to raise the country's status to instead trigger a political conflict. Now is the time for us to lay low and put down our personal interests and instead ask for the understanding of the people and cooperation from the opposition. Nobody can guarantee what will happen on the peninsula afterwards. That is why we need more effort and sincerity. We believe the Olympics will not just bring economic benefits, but will be a step towards protecting the peninsula from the threat of war. To further promote the Games, the government is also considering offering temporary visa waiver programs for Chinese visitors and Southeast Asian tour groups that have tickets for Olympic events. In addition, drivers will be exempt from paying toll fees on highways in eight regions of Kaunda province during the Olympic period, while all state-operated highways will be free of charge over the Lunar New Year holidays, which fall between February 15th and 18th this year. As for the hospital fire in Miyang last week, which killed 39 people, the three sides promised to swiftly find the exact cause of the fire and also agreed to step up safety inspections to prevent further accidents. We will make sure there's no negligence in supporting the bereaved families and in dealing with the aftermath of the disaster. From the cause of the fire and who is responsible, and to prevent this from happening again, we will be carrying out a full inspection of the facilities and implement overall safety measures. And to ensure people can have a peace of mind over the Lunar New Year break, they vowed to swiftly implement measures to support the vulnerable and micro-businesses in the wake of the minimum wage hike, and also called on the National Assembly to pass urgent bills related to people's livelihoods during the February parliamentary session. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.